So you just received your PC switchblade kit and you're just excitingly assembling everything together. But then you start to notice one thing. The PC plate bends like crazy. And now you're wondering, is this supposed to be happening like this? And then I, Sander, will tell you, no, this is not supposed to be happening like this. And that's why I created this tutorial to showcase you guys how to swap out your PC switchblade in your Wooding 60HE. So let's go. To get started with this tutorial, you need a few tools. The first one is a screwdriver with a Philips PH1 tip. The second one is a switch puller. If you don't have one, you can check out our switch toolkit on wooting.io. The third one is a keycap puller. If you have a 60HE, it should already come with one included in the box. Now, let's begin. Step 1. First, remove all the keycaps from your keyboard. I know, I did this later in the video, but it's best to start off with this step. Step 2. Unscrew the 5 white screws from the plate. Step 3. Lift the module from the front first and gently pull the module out. Step 4. Flip the module over and remove the 8 silver screws on the back of the PCB. Step 5. Carefully separate the PCB from the steel plate and do not use too much force for this and make sure you do not bend the PCB or the plate too much, else you might risk damaging it. Step 6. Remove the stock porum foam from the bottom of your plate. Step 7. Now grab your switch puller and start removing all your switches. If you're not familiar with removing lacquer switches, consider checking out the tutorial in the top right corner on the screen or in the link in the description. Step 8. Remove the stabilizers from the board. You can easily do this by using a pair of tweezers or your screwdriver to push in the clip on the front of the stabilizer and push it upwards. Do this for both stabilizers and slide out the stabilizer itself. Step 9. Set aside your steel switchplate and grab your PC switchplate. Take the porum foam or silicone pad from the PC switchplate kit and place it on the PC switchplate. Make sure the foam or silicone pad aligns with all the holes and shapes of the PC plate. Optionally, of course, you can also go without anything in between to have a different sound profile. Step 10. Grab your PCB again and align it with the holes of the plate as well. I typically use the screw holes on the side as a reference. Step 11. Screw in the 8 silver screws into the back of the PCB. Step 12. Insert the stabilizers into the plate. Make sure to insert the wire under the plate first and then clip in the stabilizers. The clip side of the stabilizer will always go at the flat side of the plate. And when it's seated, you should be hearing a click. Step 13. Insert the switches back into the module, ensuring the window of the switch is facing north. And the switches will be properly seated if you actually hear a click when you press it in. And since the PC plate is flexible, installing the switches might need some support with your fingers to snap them into place. Especially if you use the pour-on foam or just without any foam at all. Step 14. Insert the module back into the case and make sure you insert the back side with the USB-C port first and then the front side of the module. And you gotta make sure that the USB-C port on the module aligns with the hole on the case. Step 15. Screw in the PCB with the 5 wide screws. And step 16. Finally, put the keycaps back on and voila! You are all done. And that's pretty much it for the PC switchplate swapping tutorial. And of course, if you have any questions or need some clarification, let us know in the comments below or send us a mail over at social at booting.io. And yes, I hear you guys. You want a sound test of the 60HE with the PC plate in the Alu maze. And I'll let you guys have a teaser in the end of this video. All right. Thanks for watching and goodbye.